a foul, says Michael Jones. Play goes on. This is Walters. He's got Pennant with him and not a lot else. Pennant gets there first. Good ball in, great chance and a fantastic save to match it. Kenwin Jones must have thought he'd scored. Well, he certainly would have done. I think it's Edrington comes in with a header. Absolute bullet header, gets across. Good play from Walters, sets up Pennant perfectly. Great chance, Robert Hooth, 1-0 Stoke. And he wasn't really contested either. Well, that is as basic as it comes. I mean, it's a great ball in. If it was a cross, you'd really admire it. Fired in with pace across that six-yard box. West Ham have got to be stronger. You cannot allow Stoke to roll over you like that. I mean, he runs with Hooth. You know he's going to be one of the threats. I mean, it's such a fearsome weapon, but it's flat. You know where it's going. Robert Green can't come for it. But you've got to have defenders blocking off. You've got to have people getting their elbows up. You cannot allow a big centre-half like that to run. That is as poor as it gets from a West Ham perspective. Hitzelsberger, dangerous ball for Pickion. Was that an arm? Pickion! Well, he's flattened. Pickion is in the back of the net, sows the ball. It's 1 1. Suspicion of handball there. Great goal, though. I mean, what a ball from Hitzelsberger. They tied it up in their own half. What a fantastic ball. Sorensen's got to do better, I think, once he starts to come. Pick on showing some real bravery. But it was a fantastic long pass from Hitzelsberger, that left foot of his. Hardly been in the game. We talked about them not having run beyond all day. But he flights the ball perfectly. Look at this, it doesn't get too much better. He's clearly onside. It looks handball. It does look handball. Very, very difficult for either official to see clearly. Certainly the referee's assistant won't see it. Just, it is handball for me. But just as you see the arm go out, that should be enough of an indication. But the referee won't see it from his angle. And the referee's assistant won't be too much help from that far away, and he does really well. Tony Pulis with the customary jog up the touch line. Kenwin Jones with the flick on straight away. Stoke on the front foot. They started the first half very well indeed. This is Etherington. A big part of that. Penalty straight away. In the referee's ear, it's taken 14 seconds. And there you go, I mean, he was never, ever going to... I think it's a penalty, I do think it's a penalty. It's good skill from Edmonton, he nutmegs Tomkins on the edge of the box, and once he's passed him, he's in trouble. He nutmegs him here, now he's in trouble, because he can't make any contact. He'll stick his arm out, I mean, there's not too much, but there's... You know, he, he goes down, he's waiting for the contact, he's waiting for it to come in. Just the merest brush, OK, Parker. Certainly not the most clear one that you'll ever see, but there you go. Etherington against Green from 12 yards, and it's saved by Rob Green. Gets plenty of criticism, Rob Green, but no one has a better record from saving penalties than he does. And Stoke have missed a golden opportunity at the top of this second half. It's a poor penalty. Just makes his mind to go one way, but it's, it's almost like he half chips it and Green makes a comfortable save to his left-hand side. Edwin Jones with the flick on. Not quite alive enough to get on the end of it. Walters surely taken out there indeed by the Costa, who pleads his innocence, but... You come over the top like that, I guess, Matt, if the forward doesn't bother jumping, you're always in trouble. Yeah, completely has a little look, Walters gets himself set underneath it, but he's not really even attacking the ball to cost. He hasn't, he hasn't looked comfortable all day. Green ready for another set play, a different kind this time. 30 yards plus. Jermaine Pennant. The wall does its job. But illegally so, apparently. A, a, an arm used. Scott Parker saying he's protecting his face. Not above his head. Let's have a look. Carlton Cole it was. He was protecting his face. Look at that ball, it is 10 yards for the moment. Rob Green is going to be unsighted. If anything takes a touch, this is trouble. Smashed, brilliant, but not brilliant enough. It's over the line. What a save it nearly was. What a famous goal for Danny Higginbottom. He never scores.
They break out the wall. That's what they do really well. He plays it where there's two men are standing. You see him stood there, short cross and hoof, strong. Scotty Parker moves out of the way, takes a slight fetch. Very, very tough there, Robert Green. Here's Mark Noble, one of them, Kevin Keane, I heard talking in the week, saying that he talks about Scott Parker, but Mark Noble's been a very big deal in that midfield. Here is Tompkins. Spectre. And post delivery towards Abinna. Down for Hitzelsberger, who didn't shoot. Abinna does! And a good effort it was, too, and really well kept out by Thomas Sorensen. You expect him to hit it, but it's this pace there, just comes up, opens up really well. It's a good save. Parker is loitering with intent. And he's got it. Tompkins is up to help. And he's going to have time to cross. It's a good one! And Sorensen's made another save. Robbie Cer Keane again. Certainly their best moments. Played really well. Dangerous position. Hitzelsberger free kick. 82 and a half on the clock. And West Ham have seven up and waiting. Foul by a West Ham player. So many in there, difficult to tell, but there were people being hauled down. You can't call that. You really can't call that. Tompkins on Walters. Well, really. Normally it goes with the defender, but... Hitzelsberger takes again, good delivery, oh, it's off the woodwork. West Ham a couple of inches from another dramatic moment in this cup match.